Hi, welcome to HelpYourMath.com. The next problem we're going to complete is problem number 9, part A. So that reads, the lengths of lumber and machine cuts are normally distributed with a mean of 96 inches and a standard deviation of 0.5 inch. We randomly select 40 boards. We want to find the probability that their mean length is greater than 96.25 inches. So the probability that x is greater than 96.25 inches. So because we're pulling 40 boards here, this is a sampling problem, we're gonna use the central limit theorem. And we also see here in the problem, it says it's normally distributed. So it doesn't matter what our sample size is to be able to complete the problem. However, if the problem was not normal distribution, this n, this sample size, would have to be greater than or equal to 30 for us to complete the problem. However, we don't have to worry about that here. As it says, normal distribution, and our n is greater than, four, greater than 30 at 40. So the formula we're going to use to solve this to get our z-score is going to be z equals our x minus the sample mean divided by sample standard deviation. So we want to find what we're going to plug into that based off what the problem gives us. So the problem gives us population info. We want to plug in sample info to be able to solve this. So the problem gives us a population mean of 96. And it gives us a standard deviation of 0 0.5. So the 96, this population mean right here, can be directly plugged in. Based on the central limit theorem, we can use it for our sample mean. So we're going to use 96 in our equation. However, the standard deviation, because our n is 40, the standard deviation is actually going to be the population standard deviation divided by radical n. So here n is 40, so we're going to have 0 0.5 population standard deviation divided by radical 40. So here our sample standard deviation to plug in is going to be 0 0.079. So now we're all good to plug into the equation. Z equals x, what we're looking for here. 96.25 minus our sample mean divided by our new standard deviation. And when we complete that, based off order of operations, we end up getting a z of 3. 0.13. So now we're looking for probability that z is greater than this score right here, 3.13. So based off of our negative z score table, 3.13 right there is going to correspond zero point zero 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 nine. So we want to draw this out. So our Z three point one three. It's positive. And score based off the table. 0 0.009, and we're looking for the probability that it's greater than the score right here, 3.13. So we shade it to the right. So we're looking for the probability that it ends up in this tail. And based off the score off the table, we can solve this. The probability of z being greater than 3.13, or x being greater than 96.25 inches 
is going to be less than one percent. 